Good morning and welcome. Uh, we are ready for a full day of global health in conflict, poverty and fragility, achieving the 2030 agenda. Uh, we're very glad that we're having this list of distinguished speakers, but we're even happier that we have this list of distinguished participants in this room today. The Think Tank Global Utmaning aims at, uh, as an independent think tank, tackling the long-term sustainability issues of our lifetime. One of those are climate, health, poverty, fragility, and conflicts that are arousing. 2015, the world leaders gathered, and we're kind of happy that the world leaders uh, achieved uh, to set out the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, and the 2016 will be the year when we are trying to implement them. And the think tank have taken the position of trying to give some recommendations in various ways of trying to do so. And we mainly try to do so by gathering experts around reports, like the report that we published earlier this year, Global Health in Perspective. And what we're trying to do during this conference today, where we are aiming at discussing the most vulnerable within inside of our societies. As we are passing on the Millennium Development Goals to the Sustainable Development Goals, there is a risk that with the universality we are looking more nation-building than we are looking out for those who are most needed. And we have a moral, a legal responsibility for doing so. But we also believe that we, with a social focus, looking at social investments in health, in uh, education, will start driving the world to a new narrative, because we have for a long time been looking away for those who are the most needed and who will be central for being able to form a new narrative and also being able to take the lead in trying to set out the world to a better place. So today we're going to discuss health and fragility. And one of the issues of making health more important is actually linking it with security, conflict and risks. That is partly sad, but at the same time it is the case that if you don't turn your eyes to where the world leaders have their eyes, perhaps people will not listen enough. And we had the World Humanitarian Summit last week in Istanbul, and that was very well outcome when it comes to content, but also we had a lack of some of the leaders looking at the G7 meeting in Japan taking place just after, you could see that the focus is still on the economy and is still on the conflict issues. And we strongly believe at the think tank that if we don't tackle these issues holistically, if we try to tackle issues separately, then we will not be able to achieve a universal agenda when it comes to creating sustainability for this planet and for our future. So today, Helena Nordenstedt will start by giving an outline of what is actually global health in fragility. Ulrika Modier, State Secretary to the Minister of Development, will give a keynote on what is the specific perspectives on these issues. Then we will gather some of the world's leading experts on how can we imp implement and operationalize the sustainable development goals. We will have a short break and then we will have a video message from uh, the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. John Eliasson, and that will lead us into discussing Syria, which is today the world's most humanitarian crisis, but it's also pushing, pushing the refugee situation within inside of the Middle East and within inside of Europe. We will then turn our eyes and look at some of the positive examples. What is it that actually have been achieved in some country-specific issues? And what is it that we can learn from that and how do we take that further into international institutions and with inside of our bilateral engagement? The Swedish Ambassador of Global Health, Mr. Lena Jellmaker, will then give the Swedish perspective on what is the Swedish priorities when it comes to these issues. And Göran Thomson and Peter Friberg will launch the Swedish initiative for global health uh, today here. And then we will have a panel of Swedish speakers looking at the Swedish perspective on how can we move forward when it comes to security issues, when it comes to health issues, and which role is it that Sweden have to play both historically and with the inside of the future. We are hoping to do this with you guys in this audience during all of today, and we are very happy that Professor Hans Rosling will join us for some concluding remarks in the end. Hans has set out Gapminder and being the world leader when it comes to educating people, when it comes to global health, and he will help us to bridge this day into the days that are coming for the future. So, if you wish to join us more interactive,
Then you should, of course, tweet, tweet, and you should use the tag GeoHealth16. And we will also make sure that we will get some, because we, have a we are live streaming, so it will also be possible for those who have not joined us in the room to also ask questions and comment interventions as we're trying to be interactive. And we will have two microphones for those who want to join the discussion from the participants. So, this is the setting. Uh, this is what we're going to try to do and achieve. And uh, it is a common task. It is a common task of implementing the 2030 Agenda. It is a common task of putting focus on these issues, which we believe will be crucial for achieving a future which is, which is more sustainable. And thereby, it's my task to hand over to Lena Nordenstedt, which is a medical doctor, assistant professor in global health, which is today setting up the, the web uh, education and which has a strong experience from the field, both from Republic of Congo, Liberia, Guinea, and who latest served uh, in the treatment center in Liberia and Guinea in that crisis. So, Helena, welcome here. Welcome for giving us the introduction to global health in fragility. Thank you. 